Hi everybody, this is Pitta the Potter. Uh, we're gonna make some, uh, we're gonna make a wine goblet today. I've sort of been known for my stemware wine goblets. This is one of the few times that I measure anything, so here's my measuring ruler here. We've got a set of calibers right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from the bottom to the, we're gonna measure out six and a half inches. Right here, six and a half inches. And then we'll set this up. Here we've got the measurement now. This is six and a half inches. Okay, I'm going to set this over here on the side. And we're going to start with a pound of clay right here. This is my own formula of clay. It's a white stoneware body. And uh, because it's de-aired from, from high water clay when I buy it in the bag, what we're going to do here is we're going to use it sort of just out of the bag. We're going to make up a little ball. This is a one pound ball. Here's the bat system that I use, and over here you should be able to see the side view in the mirror. I'm hoping this will come out where you can see this pot pretty good. Let's see here. Get this slightly adjusted here. All right, we're going to start to throw this piece. Of course, we always try to get it near the center of the pot wheel. There we go, that's a little bit better. All righty, we're going to start centering now. Here we go. I'm doing a coning process, a little coning process here on centering. Then we're going to push the whole thing down to the wheel head. And get a nice little half grapefruit section here. You can hear my bat chattering a little bit here on the wheel. Alright, we've got this uh, set up for the width of the diameter and we're going to start right now dropping the hole. My uh, wine goblets have no bottom in them so that they're easy to rinse out and not trap water. Some, some of my friends make a solid bottom, but I don't like doing it that way. So here we go with our first pull after the holes down to the wheel head. I'm going to pull directly towards me. And we're going to stop right where it's getting close to the outside of the uh, ball of clay. Sponge, water, first pull is like a two-fingered pull right here, and we're going to put a lot of pressure on the inside, pushing this piece in towards the center. And what we're going to do is do a sort of a first mini pull and leave the weight up in the top here. Hey, Ted, a friend of mine just came in. He'll, he'll be quiet while I do this demonstration. Okay, the second pull is I'm thinning this wall out and getting it sort of at the proper thickness right here. And then we're going to continue up with the final part of the pull, sort of staying in all the way. Now we don't have to get it too high. There it goes. See, let me see, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see it all. All right, this is a good position for the camera. I mop out the inside really well. And the rest of this is sort of like a coning action. We're gonna start up the outside of the piece and we're gonna lift and push in to make the, uh, make the stem. This is pull number one on the stem. Here we go again on number two. Starting to look like a goblet stem here. And one more pull ought to do it. Leaving a nice flare at the top here. And you can see these nice finger lines. Now we're going to take our measuring six and a half inch piece and we're going to check the measurement here. It's a little bit high, so I'm going to cut some of this down with a needle tool. When I do this, I support the outside edge here and I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. There we go. Now 
Now it's starting to look good. Finishing the top. Let me give it a quick measure one more time here. Looking good right there. Okay, with our we have a metal rib tool here. We're going to clean up the uh, throwing lines and form this shape down here. Come up the piece. Natural flare of this kidney does a good job with uh, getting this exactly where it's supposed to be. Smoothing it out. Alrighty, now that's the first part. Now we're going to trim this. I use a metal trimming tool here. It's a kitchen knife that I've flattened out on the end. I use metal tools that I usually make myself. I'm going to undercut this slightly. I undercut all my pots. I want to get them to not look like they're planted on the shelf. So we'll undercut this a little bit. Get it looking nice. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a shoulder here. And what I'll do is I'll rinse off my sponge and I'll run it underneath the shoulder and around the rib line of the pot, cleaning it up. My handy thumbnail tool, which I put a ridge right here on the end of the pot. And then I add two lines with my pinky nail, line one and line two. And these are sort of glaze catchers. Now this, this is the base. And what we'll do now is we'll set this off and we'll come back and show you throwing of the bell. Clean my hands off before I touch my camera. Hey, let me dig this up here. Let's take a look real quick before we get uh, Here's the uh, undercut detail, the rib lines. The top is flat, and we do not cut this off the bat. These are masonite bats. We'll leave this on the bat. This is orientated to the line over here on the thing, so when we lay this back on, it will be centered for us and ready to go.